Hello, everybody. My name is Adrian Niculescu, and I have a very special guest today. What we are doing, we have uh, a special presentation for the uh, users of the apps presented by Shop Marketing Apps. And um, as I said before, we are being, building a podcast around it to invite the smartest marketing minds. And also because uh, I'm involved in uh, joint venture launches in uh, webinar brokering, we have a community of uh, people launching products in the sales and marketing space, launching software, uh, doing affiliate promotions, and also this interview will be for them. Um, I made my first, to say, money online in 2009. It was a $50 back then. And one of the names mentioned at that time as being very famous, very popular, and very successful was uh, John Cornetta, uh, who is my guest today. We didn't have a chance to connect until now. And um, he and Mike feel the same. Uh, they, are, they are launching GrooveCard, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So it was a good opportunity for me to connect with him and to, to uh, chase him over social media for two, three days, to be able to get in touch with him and to present him to you. I believe most of you are already knowing um, who he is. But anyway, how are, how are you, we are doing, John? Good, Adrian. How are you? Good to have you on. Thanks for having me on. So, um, um, as said, back in 2009, what you were doing back then? I was in the solo ad business. I kind of uh, was list building and just coming online myself, you know, in 2009. And uh, I started list building and doing a few products. And uh, I did an interview with uh, David Eisner that was in the warrior form. And it was the number one downloaded product in the warrior form at the time. I had no idea. I he interviewed me for like two hours and uh, I said, can I make a uh, warrior product out of this? And I was like, what's a warrior product? And uh, he made it and it was just, I don't know, it had like 30,000 views and then maybe 500 comments and uh, people loved it. So I was doing really aggressive list building back then. And uh, why did you do list building back, back then? Well, you know, I just came online and I had a friend and we were doing some online network marketing and uh, I wasn't very good at it. And I, I would get like, you know, three or four people, maybe 10 people a day visit my page. And if I was lucky, I'd have one person, you know, either take a look at the opportunity or something like that. And he was getting like a couple of hundred people a day and he was getting, um, you know, 10, 12, 15 people a day signing up and I'm like, what are you doing? And he goes, oh, I created a squeeze page. And I'm like, what's, what's squeeze page? And so he showed me and um, I was blown away. And um, I was just like, wow, this is, I get it now. Like the light turned on. And so he said how important list building was. And then he showed me a video of a guy named Mike Same, And he's like, this guy is so big, you know, he, he's like the biggest in the industry and you probably never meet him. <laughs> Things like that. I was like, no, I'm going to meet him. I'll, I'll, you know, I don't know. I'd be business partners with him one day. But so I just decided that list building was uh, what I wanted to do back then. Like it was really important to have a list, which it still is today. This was my ne my next question. Um, is anything real changed about uh, list building? If you are looking at 2009, and if you are looking at uh, today, the end of 2018, I think so. I mean, it could be from just from my perspective, but. You know, back then for me anyway, it was just build a list, massive list, massive list. And I built a list of 400,000 subscribers in 14 months. And that was my claim to fame. I didn't even know I, I did something good. I was just like, really? I, I just keep doing this. But the list burnt out over time and the list wasn't as responsive over time. And I think today, I think more than ever, information and your story is more important than the list size that you have. If you're just looking to send clicks somewhere, then fine, building a massive list, having no relationship with the list, you know, maybe selling CPA products or doing solo ads, you, you'll do good. You have to constantly keep, 
you know, churning that list and bringing in new people rapidly. Uh, but I think today you take a look at some marketers that are out there. You take a look at um, Gary Vanderchuk. You take a look at Grant Cardone. Um, you, you take a look at Russell Brunson. You take a look at a lot of these guys and they're writing books and they're writing co content and they're, 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 they're sharing content constantly. And then people are attracted to that content and they become tribe members for a long time. They're like, oh, that's what Grant's doing. I want to go do that. That's what Gary's doing. I want to go do that. So I think the days of just giving away, putting up a free product, giving it to people, trying to get them on an upsell, getting them on a downsell, giving them something else to join on the landing page, putting together a $17 product. You know, I, for me anyway, those days are over. I think for a lot of people as they mature into the business, they'll see that, you know, creating something that's residually a residual income to it and really giving away good usable content like this video. You know, you're doing a video interview with me and you're going to give it away to people. And I hope I share enough content with them where they go, wow, I, I like this guy. Maybe I should, you know, find out more about him. And then they're going to say about you, man, um, Adrian just keeps giving away content after content after content. I want to be around him because he's constantly creating this content. So I think list building has changed it. In, in, in that way, certainly for me. But when we are still uh, talking today about um, the list building, where the sales are made actually? Because, okay, uh, doing content, there is one thing. It can be done with a purpose or it can be done randomly. But at the end of the day, as I've learned, of course, the hard way um, over time, Uh, what is important from social media is to build some kind of list. Also, Russell Brunson, I believe most of the sales are done via uh, emails and webinars. This sure. Is, this is, and, and of course, uh, he's doing some uh, Facebook lives. He's doing some sales, giving uh, small in incentives. Because, you know, um, uh, people come online and will come even um, the, the wave of people coming online to do business, to start a project, to, to learn something, will be much bigger. And, of course, people will be uh, all the time overwhelmed with information. We'll see gurus with, I don't know, uh, big cars, uh, jets, things like that, most of them being rented. And we'll we will start to buy um, because some of these people are selling hope to hopeless at the end of the day and we'll, we'll buy into that. So <clears throat> from, from your perspective, because we, we enter directly in the juice of the problem, um, which is the correct thing to do today to have some results. Let's say if, if you if you would would talk with uh, with a newbie, which would be like I don't know the the first seeds to be planted to start seeing some success. You know, even a bad product, in my opinion, is a good product if you follow it and you actually put in the work. A lot of people just don't want to put in the work, and they think you know. Look, when my life today is very glamorous. You know, I mean, I live in a beautiful house. I'm a, beautiful wife and children and uh, you know, all, all those things, God's blessed me. But when I first started doing internet marketing, my, my rear end hurt. I sat at the, the computer for 15, 16 hours a day, put in the work building lists. So you need, you know, you need to put in the work. There's really no magic formula. You need to put in the work. You know, you can arbitrage. Arbitrage is a really great way to start making money today. You know, and that's buying, uh, buying, let's say, solo ad traffic from one person at a certain price, selling it to someone else at another price, taking enough money back so that you can go ahead and build your own list. I also love arbitraging products, finding products online, e-commerce, which I've you know, been big in since 2014, finding something for $3 and selling it for six. I love that. You can go on Facebook right now and look for people selling products in your area and people are giving away stuff. Just come pick it up. You can take that product and then sell it on a site or sell it back on Facebook for a small profit. I personally today, if I knew what about e-com, what I know today, I would have started with e-com. I mean, my switch, I'll always have a list. And yes, I mean, I, have to, I, I promote products. But for me, e-commerce, 
is just, you know, Amazon has made it so acceptable that taking a product for price A, and here's the best part, not even paying for the product until you've sold it. That's really great. And then never seeing the product, never touching it, never warehousing it, nothing, and having somebody else send it to your customer. And then in some scenarios, them even handling all the customer service and you just taking the profit. That to me, you know, if I had to start all over today, I had nothing. I did no list. I had no money, nothing. I would start doing e-commerce. I understand. Uh, how's Mike doing these days? Mike feels safe. He's great. He uh, moved here to South Florida so that we can be closer to um, use, uh, it's closer together to develop GrooveCart and to launch that. And uh, he's doing really, really well. And what is GrooveCart? It's so, it's so much buzz around it these days. You are launching it. I saw the buzz before mentioning that it will be launched at a certain date, but what is GrooveCart? Let me see, something just popped up in front of my picture here. So let me just make sure that's out of the way, okay. So GrooveCart is an e-commerce platform that uh, Mike and I and a partner, Matt, created to make e-commerce easier. And you know we were competing with Shopify. And uh, some of the things that I didn't like was I had to constantly pay for apps. I had to pay for a one-click upsell for a support desk. I had to pay for if I wanted my buttons to look different or change and said, hey, let's create one that you know, we can have all this stuff included. And I was paying $700 a month for my Shopify store between the fees they were taking as my partner, which they're a partner with every store, the monthly fee and the app fees. And I said, let's make GrooveCart less than the cost I was even paying for a month. Uh, let's you know, make it for, um, uh, you know, for a whole year. And not only that, we said, you know what, but let's also fill it with products that people can just grab their store from the minute they get it, open it and click on it and sell those products, add their own products that they want. And, you know, even, even better than that, let's put in something like a one page builder where they can actually build one page stores like um, Mac or you know, Apple, IBM, all these big companies that build these one page stores, let's build in a whole page builder. And it just kept going and going and we add all the stuff and they said, well, what's missing? What's missing is training. And so since 2014, I've been doing e-commerce training. I, I spoke at an event in uh, the UK and uh, people paid 3,000 pounds each to hear me speak to the day. And it's 4,000 US dollars. It was 60 people. I sold courses for 2,000 and for 3,000 dollars. Let's just include that so that people have no excuse anymore. They have the platform. They have products already there for them. They have a way to add products easily. They have uh, e-commerce training by me, marketing training by Mike Fulsane. I don't think you can beat that. And we put it together and we, we launched it this week. I understand. And um, are the products sold uh, as uh, drop shipping, in a drop shipping way? Yeah. Yeah. The, you mean you can add any product you want and sell it from anywhere you want. AliExpress, Ali, uh, um, Baba from Amazon, whatever you wanted to add there, you can add and do that independently. And then there are um, three other aspects. There is a, a, a clothing aspect. And everything from shirts like I'm wearing to T-shirts and hats and things like that that you can just drag and drop a logo on. And a United States-based company prints that and sends it anywhere in the world. There's a proprietary app called the Layer app. And what the Layer app does is really, really cool is it puts an image on anything other than that shirt, like a pair of sneakers and a backpack, an umbrella, bed sheets, car seat covers. And you basically create these products that aren't real until someone buys it. And then the third thing, and this is coming soon, it'll probably happen early 2019, is we have a, an entire um, proprietary FDA-approved supplement line that's in there for things like losing weight, gaining weight, having more energy, vitamins, protein supplements, things like that. And people can also um, just put a label on it, and it's their line. It's their line of skincare. It's their line of, of, of supplements if they're a coach or something like that or they're an influencer, they're an internet marketer, they're just saying, hey, this is how I stay pumped all the time, I take this. And somebody can order it, they can order one, it gets dropped to their customer as if they shipped it to them and profit right away. This will be amazing, uh, especially for the Instagram influencers. They have huge followings and will be very easy for them to create their own supplements line, right? 
and clothing and their own clothing line right and, away. And clothing. Wow, this is amazing. So in a nutshell, which is the unique sales proposition of uh, Groove Card? I saw a post um, earlier this week by uh, Ricky Mataka on, uh, on uh, Facebook. Uh, he did a webinar about the Shopify killer. So in my mind said, I believe that webinar will be about Groove Card. So I was not wrong. <laughs> No, you weren't. I think they're doing the <laughs> webinar right now, I think, uh, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, th so, you know, the unique selling proposition is, is kind of what I've already stated, is that the products are built in. There's training built in and around it. Huge community, GrooveCard Academy, a Facebook group. And we're not too big to fail, right? Like they say, you know, you're too big to fail. We're here, we're in the trenches. And, I mean, who's going to do something like this and – um and have ongoing weekly training and have apps included. And now this is just the beginning. This is our launch, right? So now we, we realize we've got to roll out something every four to six months that keeps everyone engaged. That's a new, new thing, a new, new product, a new way of making money in e-com and staying on top of that curve. And which is the, um, the uh, entry level for somebody wanting to access the platform? So I don't know, which is the smallest package um, which are the upsells, not necessarily uh, the exact prices because will be, will be okay. promotions, discounts, but as an idea, I always think in, uh, in uh, uh, level of prices, you know, one thing is 100, another thing is 1000. Right. So just some, so some idea, a, some rough there's idea. A, there's a monthly price, there's a quarterly price, and there's a yearly price. Right now during the launch, all those prices are cut in half it's like 50% off, I think so close to that on some of them, some of them definitely 50% off, but you know, for less than, if they take the, the yearly package, they would get groove cart, all of their processing, the full support training, everything, apps, fees, everything for about $40 a month is what it comes out to. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculously cheap. Like I would never get my training for that. So we're obviously banking on volume. They and go to month to month, they're going to pay more than that. Of course. And for this price, they can have one store or more than one store. How will it work? That's one store. One and store. I believe, I believe if they buy two stores, they get uh, three stores free in addition to it. Oh, which is very good. So they, they can uh, build like their empire, right? They can build their empire. They can even build for students and resell to the students anything they want to do. It's their, it's their digital real estate. Which is your target for the first year in terms of uh, the number of customers, the number of users, let's say? It, well, in a 12-month in a calendar year, you know, our goal is to have 10,000 users. At the end of this launch, you will hit 2,500 to 3,000. And that might be a little low. I don't know. We this At the end of the launch, it's not going to uh, – our work effort's not going to change. It's only going to increase. The coupons will go away. Some of the bonuses will go away. There's a live event with me and Mike where they come and learn from me and Mike that's included that they go ahead and um, you know, buy during the launch. Things like that will go away, but we're going to be really aggressive. And, I mean, you know, you have – uh, WooCommerce, and you have a couple other e-com platforms that are that are out there. Obviously, you have Shopify. You know, you're talking about a half a million users on one of them, and and, and maybe a million on another. And so, having ten thousand users, I don't think is too big of a goal. I think we can hit that, and I, I think uh, at some point we'll hit a hundred thousand users, probably in two thousand and twenty. And so exponentially, as the the base of your growth strategy is your own marketing or marketing to affiliates and JVs or which is the, which is the proportion between them? Well, right now it's probably 70, 30 with the JVs because it's a launch going on. Mike and I have done a lot of um, uh, the selling ourselves, but at, in 2019, we'll go out on speaking tours. We'll speak at our own event. We're going on the marketers cruise in January and it will start to exponentially grow. And one of the things that I'm big on is taking every single person that purchases and explaining to them affiliate marketing. And I'm talking at the most basic level. Like, I don't have a list. I don't have anything. What should I do? 
And the first thing I always teach students and anyone else is, first thing you need to do is you need to pay for all your products. So if you have an AWeber account or a GetResponse account or a MailChimp account, if you have a hosting account, if you have a, an e-com platform, anything like that, most of them have an affiliate program. Almost indefinitely they have an affiliate program. Mm -hmm. So the thing to do is instead of going to look for a product to, to promote, is to promote the product that you just paid for, whatever that may be. You, you bought a course, anything. So in this case, it's GrooveCard. So look, let's get your groove card for free, I tell them. Let's go ahead and sell two or three of them, and automatically, you got your product for free. In fact, you're profiting. That's where everyone should start. If they have a GoDaddy account and they're registering domains there, then support GoDaddy. You've already believed in it, obviously. Sell enough affiliate commissions in GoDaddy to make it free. How do they do that? Well, a couple things. First, they register, they get a link, right? And secondly, they go ahead and they take that and they put it on their auto reply for their Yahoo or their Gmail account. They put it in their Skype profile. They tweet about it. They Facebook post about it. They tell their friends and families. Two sales. It's not a lot. And that now they're, they're actually operating from a place of non-deficit. I'm not paying for anything anymore. I'm not paying for my autoresponder. I'm not paying for my hosting. I'm not paying for my e-com platform. And what they do, this sounds very, very basic, but it's true, is anyone that they do sell, that does buy them, buy from them, they reach out to them. And they say, hey, my name's John Cornetta. I just want to really thank you for, for buying that product. Listen, I want to teach you what was taught to me. Here's a short video I made on how to add this link, sign up for an affiliate here, or you know, to add it to your Gmail profile, to add it to your Skype profile, to tweet about it. Here's some things that I did in order to get two people to sign up and get it for free. Why do you want to do that? You may not make any of that money, but that person is never going to leave. They're always going to rebuild because they found two people or three people or five people or whatever to buy the same product they bought from you. So now they're going to be a recurring billing over there and you're always going to get paid on them. So I think it's very important. We lose sight of that because we become bigger as affiliates. We just send out big emails and do big things. We get down into the trenches and take the people that buy from us. Well, first step is going out and promoting the products that we use. That's really important. It says, hey, we use them, we believe in them, we're going to push them. But second step, real important, is going out and getting those people that did buy from you and training them two things. One, how to duplicate what you just did by selling it. But two, telling them when people buy from you, duplicate what I'm doing right now and teach them how to sell it so that you know your commissions will constantly come in. I think it's really important. Yes. Um very often we are losing sight of the basic things. And even if the social media is developing, the basic things still remain the same. So some things uh, which worked because I'm looking at 2009 because it was my first year in internet marketing. And anyway, I work with, with companies. I do also other business models, but also uh, I was um, uh, infected by <laughs> this virus of internet marketing, which <laughs> which which uh, uh, didn't go away. And it's a very good virus because you can learn things, you can apply everywhere. And they said we are losing the sight on uh, on the the, the basic things. Uh, where do you see GrooveCard in five years from now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How big? <laughs> It's a long time away. I, I, I hope I'm still alive. Uh, it's a long time away. I don't know, man. I just we're, I'm all in on Groovecart. I'm all in. Like I moved my family to Sarasota. Mike moved his family here, and Max moving his family here, and we're all in. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a, it will be a force in the marketplace. That's for sure. And besides Shopify, um, which are your biggest competitors from your point of view? Oh, I guess WooCommerce is one. There's a company in, in Europe called PrestaShop, and there are two other platforms. And I mean, I'm not just saying this because it's GrooveCart. I'm telling you, there's nothing, nothing like GrooveCart on the planet. And it's only going to get better. It's just, it, you got to understand, like, so I know Ecom really, really well. Mike knows marketing really, really well, as do I, but Mike really does. And Matt knows development really well. So I just say, guys, this is what it's going to take to make e-com really, really crazy good. And Mike's like, yeah, and we can market it this way. And Matt goes, I can build that. And then we just keep doing that. And we do that. We're on the phone with each other five times a day during non-launch weeks, 
constantly doing that. We're meeting at the office and we're shooting videos. And you're going to see, if you think GrooveCard is seen everywhere right now on Facebook feeds and everywhere else, wait until a few weeks after the launch. It's really going to be seen everywhere. I understand. Um, how are processed payments? Do you work with a certain payment processor? processor? Like, I don't know, is PayPal, Stripe, something else? Yeah, so there's, there's, there's three ways. Um, there's three ways right now. There's Stripe, there's PayPal, there's uh, Authorize.net, which is your own credit card platform you, you have done. And then there'll be a fourth one coming out very soon, which is Groove Payments, which will be our own payment processing system, which people will just get approved right away, and boom, they're done. The beautiful thing is, remember, we're not taking any of their, any of their credit card processing or any of their fees or a percentage where Shopify takes 1.5% of all your transactions, gross transactions right off the top and takes 1% if you upgrade and then a half a percent if you go to their $299 a month program. We don't take anything. Our, our job is a SaaS company is giving you a great product and you're paying us annually for it. I understand. Do you intend also to introduce payments via cryptocurrencies? Without a doubt. I'm a, I'm a big holder of cryptocurrency. And so I'm a big believer in it. I made a lot of money and then watched it dwindle away. And that's not affecting me at all. I'm still buying and holding. Um, and we'll also have um, uh, two checkout and some other ones that are make it easier for people that live in the far East. And um, there's a lot of e-com marketers in Vietnam and the Philippines and things like that. They want to check out and absolutely cryptocurrency. And um, do you see GrooveCard as a disruptor in this market or as an innovator or both? I think both. I mean, we're innovating and we're certainly disrupting the market. I mean, we have, you know, people from, you know, that are Shopify loyalists going, oh my God, you know, I built all my courses and everything else around Shopify. And now I see this and, all right, I'm going to just rebuild all my courses. You know, so if that's not disruptive, I don't know what is. I understand. So it's, uh, uh, it's very good that we've uh, connected. I want to thank you very much for uh, attending this interview. I want to wish you all the success in the world with the new platform. And for sure, I will become a user because I have uh, two shops I wanted to launch and one of them um, it was intended to be built on Shopify, but <laughs> it, it wasn't launched there. So uh, I, I will go on uh, GrooveCard, 100%. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate you having me on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.